Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for September 23rd, 2019. So hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend or ready to get all cranked up on this Monday. We have a little bit of contradiction in the charts and so let's let's jump in and talk about that and see, see what the charts can tell us about um, what comes next. When I look at this chart here in the diamonds, I see some contradictions in technicals. So first off, if we look at our moving averages here, you can see that our moving averages, we're holding above our 50-day moving average. We're also holding above some important price support levels for the chart. And as long as we hold up there, we seem to be holding in this bullish pattern. We also have the contradiction that we have failed. We have failed up here to be able to break through to these new price highs. And honestly, putting in a kind of a double top failure here or a lower high failure, that is a bit concerning technically for the chart. But we have the contradiction here that we're also holding up relatively well in an uptrend and that we're holding above our 50 day moving average area. So we have that contradiction here in the market. It's making it a little bit difficult to decide how to um, how to approach this. There's that uncertainty out there in the market and the chart seems to be um, accurately reflecting that uncertainty right now with these contradictions in technical, um, technical terms here on the chart. So as we fail up here, show this failure here last week, we're looking at a market that's uh, currently indicating about a, basically a flat open this morning. We have European markets lower and we have Asian markets that struggled last night closing mostly lower on the trade uncertainty and um, and also uh, economic numbers that came out in Germany that are relatively bearish so we're seeing um, just this little bit of softness here today and it makes you wonder where we go from here with very little on the earnings calendar today and very little on the economic calendar today to really move the market we're, we could sent, uh, essentially be very very news driven and very very sensitive to any of the political news that may come out back and forth about trade about um, what's going on with Brexit about what could be happening over there in Saudi Arabia, all those different things could um, could make this market um, relatively sensitive to those political driven events. So we'll want to watch that price action pretty closely today. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, very, very similar situation in the SPY, but the SPY it did actually peak out and make those new highs, but we've had three attempts now to uh, do that new closing high, and we've been unable to do that, and really leaving in what could be considered a double top high right here, where we just couldn't make it happen. Two shooting stars up there and a nice follow through, a bearish candle breaking this low, um, makes uh, for a little bit of a concerning pattern here overall on this top. So could this be, could this end up being just a, a small double top high or could this be a bigger double top high that could be uh, causing us some stress in the future in the market. Now, with that being said, the bullish parts of this is that we're holding up in trend. We're also holding above some key support levels here in this chart and above our 50-day moving average. So it's certainly the bulls could, could find some inspiration and turn this back around and go right back up. But there is just that contradiction um, also going on here in these charts that's a little bit concerning. If we look at the cues, cues are, are even worse than the diamonds in the spy in that we have technically two failures here at lower highs. So we didn't make it up to this new high in here. We failed before we got there. Shooting star, shooting star, and now bearish candle follow through on that. We're very, very close, however, to our 50 day moving average. And as you can see, some key support levels in the chart. So 
we're holding current trends to the upside, but we're very, very close to testing those support levels. We certainly don't want to see that fail, and it would be possible that we catch that support, do a little dancing around, and, and then maybe kick back higher here. But there certainly is that little bit of stress coming in here to the market and those technical contradictions we're going to have to be very, very careful with. IWM <coughs> has held up really re remarkably strong. Um, kind of an interesting switch. Um, IWM has been the weakest index all along and now maybe showing signs of being the strongest index um, having break, broken through its downtrend here and now pulling back to test that level is support if we can get a bounce off of there we may actually have buying opportunities coming here in IWM but at the same time we also want to respect this let me put that downtrend in again. We want to respect this relatively strong resistance right across here and that possibility that failure could occur in this area. So watch those levels closely. Just again, kind of challenging market to try and figure out where we go from here. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. <coughs> Now, while all this is going on, there's been very, very little fear uh, welling up in the VIX, except on Friday. We had a little bit of a spike in fear on Friday um, as we uh, sold off and holding that downtrend. And I've been talking about how that downtrend may actually provide some of that price support. And we're holding a level right across in here where we've bounced off. So as long as we stay below resistance levels in this chart around this area, I think we're gonna be okay if we, if we stay below that. But if we start to spike up in here and start holding this area as a support, there could be some trouble um, ahead, so watch that VIX closely. Again, a bit of a contradiction um, in these charts as to how we're going to handle this and that the fear is has been so relatively low, it's hard for the market to catch any kind of uh, major sell-off and uh, those bulls have been holding up pretty darn tenaciously, as you can see, with no fear in the market. Let's take a look at T21. 22 and this is a four week new high new low ratio and even though we had that selling on friday it really didn't change t2122 all that much we're still relatively extended on some of these indexes but as you can see what t2122 is telling us is we have opened that door for that possible rally if we can find some inspiration if those bulls can find some kind of inspiration we can take off and we have room now to the upside um, in the market. We also have this pretty uh, big opening to the downside where it may just be suggesting we come back and test those 50-day moving averages um, to confirm them as support. So let's watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot going on here to really move the market around or help it find inspiration. As you can see, we have Chicago Fed, National Activity, and PMI Composite Flash. Neither one of those are expected to move the market. We have a couple of Fed speakers here today, three of them uh, speaking. Unlikely that they're going to reveal anything at all new that would move the market around. So not much there to um, to get us going um, overall. On our earnings calendar today, we have um, not very many companies reporting earnings and the majority of those companies have already reported this morning and they're pretty much all really you know small cap type companies and unlikely to have any of them that would be um, really market moving. So um, the market will be kind of left to its own devices today to try and find inspiration. That can mean a couple of things. That can mean that we're going to be very sensitive to news reports. Anything political that comes out about Brexit, that comes out about um, trade negotiations, that comes out about um, tensions over in I Iran, could be very, very um, influential on how the market trades today. It could also mean if we don't get any of those news reports that we could see a very light choppy day as we wait for some kind of inspiration to get moving some way to get this get things going. So 
going to be kind of an interesting day here, an interesting Monday for certain. And we started we started last night with a very, very bullish futures look, but that has really subsided. Right now, as I speak, Dow futures are indicating a 25-point gap down, while the, the NASDAQ futures are um, expecting just a, like a two-point move up and um, the S&P 500 futures are dead flat. So we're just kind of bouncing around here in a flat region, trying to decide how we're going to uh, approach this morning could be a little bit difficult um, with that in mind. So, well, <clears throat> as we move forward here today, before I, I show you some socks that could be setting up, Guys, if this is the first time you've seen this video and you find these videos to be useful, helpful to you, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time I post a video. Also, if you could do me a favor, if you feel this video was worthy, if this information was good enough for you to help um, prepare for your market day, then if you could just click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, even the briefest of comments it helps and I truly truly appreciate uh, those of you who take the time to do that you guys are awesome as the channel continues to grow thank you very very much let's take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up for the day and um, remember that every time I um, go over a stock in this video uh, in any of these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything it is merely um, something for you to um, evaluate and decide maybe put a chart on your watch list mark it up and wait for a potential trade to develop that fits your trading style so let's take a look at a few charts that are well have some potential that we'll want to pay attention to take a look at BMY now BMY I've mentioned a couple three times last week and BMY uh, finally broke through that resistance up here, moving on higher. BMY is looking pretty darn bullish overall, holding this nice bullish trend, breaking through that nice little pullback opportunity, holding up, um, um, breaking through some um, big resistance areas, and then overall breaking its longer term downtrend to the upside. So um, BMY starting to show some real bullish signs and looking pretty good here. Might be something for your watch list and when you want to keep an eye on another one might be CC now CC is a very different stock and it did a different pattern this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and I, I like this chart because we have broken the overall downtrend broke the downtrend we're holding a support notice that we're working to fill this gap still we've got a little bit more move to fill this gap to the upside we have a very nice bottoming pattern in here on the <clears throat> on CC and we're forming what I call a pop out of the box pattern. Pop out of the box pattern is a very, very tight consolidation as we move over to test our trend. And if that can pop, uh, we get that nice bullish candle that pops up in here can show us nice upside move um, in this trade. So watch that closely. It is setting up and this is that round and bottom breakout pattern where we break above that 50 day moving average, have that nice bottom formation coming up in here and our 200 day up here would be the ultimate target. Of course, we have resistance levels in this chart that we'll have to deal with as we move through there, but nice little potential here in this chart for a round and bottom breakout. Let's take a look at um, CPB. CPB I've mentioned several times and right wing option members um, have already profited from this trade and continue to profit from this trade. CPB is one of those defensive sector stocks. It's really a boring kind of stock but um, those boring stocks can really put in some nice trends from time to time and we can see CPB has been holding up nicely in this little trend that it's got going there's that consolidation pattern here that little pop out of the box pattern and we're watching and waiting to see if that can actually pop and go on higher here to the upside and with the market being a little bit um, uh, flat to sensitive defensive sector stocks seem to be working um, a little bit better than they did uh, the last couple of weeks but uh, CPB might be an opportunity uh, for you to keep an eye on.
Another uh, chart uh, that you might be interested in is MDT. MDT has been in this beautiful trend. And um, I've, I've alerted everyone in Right Way Options to this um, Thursday, and that uh, moved on through and held up on Friday, even though the market pulled back so strongly. So watch this chart up in here. It's entirely possible after popping through, we could rest a little bit more before we go on up, but keep an eye on MDT. Nice little chart uh, showing some pretty good signs overall, uh, like that potential setup. Take a look at a chart WB. Now, WB could be failing here, and uh, this is one that I, I've pointed out several times before to RWO members is that possibility of filling this gap. But this trade right in here, um, hitting that resistance and, and pulling back, this morning I see it's trying to hold in here. This would have to, before this becomes any kind of a long trade for me, this would have to recover and get back above that little resistance area here in the chart before I would be at all interested in this for a long. Now, this could also set up short with this shooting star and bearish candle here, kind of an evening star pattern the last three trading days. If this were to drop, fail in here, or rally back and make that lower high, that's where I'd wanna take this trade short. So keep an eye on WB, it could go either direction um, and we'll want to keep a close eye on it. One that's been kind of surprising me here recently is how strong Google has held up in spite of um, the, them facing the federal government investigation um, and state and almost universally uh, around the uh, around the United States, attorney generals going after Google here. Um, this consolidation continues to hold up and we're holding up in this trend. So as that consolidation continues to hold up, if buyers step up in there, there may be an opportunity here in Google. So watch that pretty closely. It's been holding up pretty darn well overall, kind of surprisingly well to tell you the truth. WDC, this, this trade looked like it was ready to go higher, and then we have this failure pattern coming into play. Now, I don't think this is completely um, um, out of the woods yet for an upside move, but it is starting to, to look like a failure pattern. And when we take a look at STX, STX really got sent to the woodshed last week um, after this meteoric rise that it had where it was just kind of an overbought uh, very very parabolic move and suddenly got thumped on pretty hard here so keep an eye on uh, those two charts they could um, provide either both bullish or bearish trades uh, moving forward so watch those closely been keeping a close eye on some of the um, Chinese um, stocks. BABA has held up really, really well. Now, BABA breaking through this price resistance here in the chart and holding up here. And even though we had that selling on Friday, notice that we tried to sell off, came right back. So watch this in here. Any rest or consolidation that holds above this support area could set up that opportunity to move higher. Maybe keep an eye on BABA. It, it's looking pretty decent here. And even though there's that uncertainty in the, in, uh, our Chinese trade. This is holding up pretty well. There may be some opportunities coming up here in this chart. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on is WW. WW made a really nice move. I alerted everyone in RWO to this last Thursday. Looking good, moving on higher, holding up well. Weight Watchers holding above this resistance. We had this really great little rounding pattern here at the bottom from this oversold condition. And now we're moving on up here in WW. So any little pullback or consolidation, any little resting um, area in here may set up another opportunity to get into WW. And then we have some, you know, some pretty substantial upside targets here, um, just following the patterns of the of the chart. So keep an eye on that chart. It's looking pretty good overall. So with that, everyone, hopefully that helps you out. There are lots of others to look at, you know, stocks like John Deere holding up pretty strongly and we're seeing some moves, nice moves in Apple. Um, Apple, um, 
had uh, showing really good numbers, I guess, and its sales of the new phone it may hold some support in this area. So we popped through and pulled back. We might want to watch that pretty closely to see if Apple can come around. But lots of good charts out there to maybe be considering uh, for your watch list. So with that, um, guys, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to thank you very much for um, all of your support of this channel. You guys are awesome. Make sure you click those thumbs up buttons. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't sub subscribed before. And one thing I'd, I'd like to mention here before we close up is if you're struggling as a trader, remember this has been a really tough market here recently. We don't get too many days in, a, in, in, in the same direction in a row on any chart. We're, we've been a very, very choppy market, which makes it very, very difficult if you're a swing trader at all wanting to swing these moves it's a little bit difficult no, well I, I, it's not a little bit difficult it's very difficult right now because we can't get more than a day or two in any one direction and then overnight we get these news events that completely reverse us and making it very very challenging if you're finding that to be the case, I want to really encourage you to, to just back off a little bit. Don't, don't heavily trade this market when you don't have an edge. Find that strategy that, that you think might be setting up as a, to give you that edge and build a plan and really start practicing that. This is a good time for that. Don't put that money, all that money that you've gained in the market over the last um you know, year or two, don't give it all back to the market trying to trade as if every day should be a perfect day in the market to trade. Remember, there are times when the market just doesn't set up very well. The price action is very insipid. The, 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 um, we're back and forth. We're very uh, emotional um, in the way we swing around uh, news events. <clears throat> So because of that, it makes it very, very challenging. Don't feel bad if you're not uh, feeling like um, you're very successful in the market. You're not alone. There's a lot of folks struggling out there. So if don't give up on your dream as a trader and keep up the hard work because I know this has been a challenging market for everyone. And um I want to encourage you to just stay the course. Back off a little bit when the market is like this and not providing you an edge, but stay the course and really work hard on your strategy, the development of your strategy, the development of your trade plan. Because when the market comes back around, as long as you haven't lost all of your capital or beat yourself up lo losing your confidence in a market like this, You'll be better prepared to come back when the market starts to straighten itself out. And trust me, it will. I've been through this for many, many years where we go through periods where just a crummy, crummy market finally turns around and everything gets better. So bide your time here. Study, learn, grow, but don't give up. Everyone take care. Have a great day. We'll see you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.